Welcome to this video lecture series on antenna and wave propagation. In this video lecture, we'll discuss the difference between parabolic reflector and corner reflector. So let's begin. So this represents my basic design and or the structure of the parabolic reflector. And this represents the basic design or structure of corner reflector. So first thing about the parabolic reflector is that it's designing. So you can see from its structure that how it is designed and you can see from the corner reflector that how it is designed and you can have a comparison. So by looking at this, I can say that the designing of parabolic reflector must be very difficult because it has various parts because it has a parabolic part and this is this red part represents my antenna and here this represents my antenna. So it has just two parallel planes which are joined in the form of 90 degree but here I have a perfect structure which I have to design so I can say designing of this structure is bit complex and for this structure I can say designing of this structure is relatively simpler so as I described in all of my previous videos as well that the focus of the parabolic reflector is a particular point and I cannot have more than one focus for a particular parabolic reflector. So I have just one point at which my antenna which is the transmitting or receiving antenna can be placed which is at the focus and the focus is only one point but here I don't have only one point where my transmitting or receiving antenna can be placed. My antenna could be placed at any point in the front of the corner reflector. The third thing about this structure is that this structure is used when I need some large aperture. So now this structure contains a very large aperture and this structure contains a very small aperture. When I need small antenna, I'll use this structure. When I need, where I can use a big antenna, I, I'll use this structure. So this structure is comparatively big. I hope you have seen the parabolic dish reflector in your TV dish antenna as well. And corner reflectors are very small, which are very small comparable to the wavelength of the radiation. So it is very small, which can't be even seen. So now I can say parabolic reflector is comparatively large. So the last point about the parabolic reflector is that if it is a transmitting antenna, it will produce directional waves after reflecting from this surface. And if it is receiving antenna, it requires directional waves to receive the, receive the waves. So now I can say that the parabolic reflector looks like this and the corner reflector looks like this. So I can say that the designing of this structure is complex and designing of this structure is simple. It has a particular point called focus where antenna is placed but it does not have a particular point where antenna can be placed so I can place my antenna anywhere in front of this structure. It is comparatively larger structure and can be used when size constraint is not there. It is a small structure which implies size comparable to 1 lambda or 2 lambda which I hope you can understand lambda is very small so size is very small which is very small. So it requires or transmit directional waves. So it requires the directional waves when it is acting as a receiving antenna. And it transmit directional waves when it is acting as a transmitting antenna. Whereas here no such requirement of directional waves is there. So I'll conclude this short session here. I hope you like this video. Like this video, subscribe my channel and stay tuned for the further videos. Thank you.